Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks very much for joining us here at Joe's Surplus and Sports. And uh, we appreciate you coming out on a nice sunny fall day. I'm Rory Ring, CEO for the Sault Ste. Marie Chamber of Commerce. And I'm really proud to be here with our MP, newly re-elected Terry Sheehan, and also with partner at Joe's Sports and Surplus, Stephen Meeting. And here today really to make a very special announcement in support of our local community and many of the small businesses and retailers and food service sector that help generate economy in our community and create jobs. So thanks very much and at this time I'd just like to turn it over to MP Terry Sheehan to say a few words. Well, thank you very much, Rory. I really appreciate uh, that uh, introduction. And yes, it's great to be here. This is my first announcement uh, since being uh, re-elected as a member of parliament. So I wanted to thank everyone once again for their, help, their support to my volunteers, my family, to the community at large. Uh, it's a tremendous honor to be here. And like I promised, we are gonna hit the road running. So we're here to make an announcement to support uh, local businesses that are absolutely critical to our economy. And uh, you know, Joe's Sports and Surplus is one such business that has been here for many years, and I wanted to thank Steve for hosting here uh, today. And uh, on a side note, uh, when Rory told me that you know we were announcing this program and we were figuring out where you know where we were going to do it, and he said here, I hadn't told him until we walked in, and I was telling Steve about it that my wife Lisa had purchased a uh, beautiful rod and reel from here for me, um, you know, not too long ago during the pandemic. Uh, it was a President uh, Eagle combo, as they say, and uh, it was fabulous. So when the, um, what happened was, uh, after I had, had that gift, when the province lifted the, the restrictions, uh, we went up to uh, Laurentian Lodge, just north of Valley Lake, in a little motel room, and my first cast, I caught a nice little small, and it was beautiful, so it was just great. So, you know, we continue to strive to support our local businesses through example, but through programming too. So last year, Rory and I, put our heads together and we did our own little local uh, shop campaign which uh, we promoted you know through uh, various means including through uh, my budget in which we uh, would make purchases to uh, uh, you know wish greetings seasons greetings to uh, the community which we did but we also put and made and highlighted and underlined the importance of buying local uh, our government has been eight out of ten dollars during this pandemic in supporting small businesses and a variety of businesses through uh, a variety of programming that have been accessed. Uh, we've also done some uh, investing and, and, and programming as well, you know, to get more online presence. But today, what we're here today to talk about is a very important program, very important program that uh, the Minister of Small Business, Mary King, uh, launched not too long ago. Uh, it was a thirty-three million dollar investment to support our local businesses from coast to coast to coast, including those in Sault Ste. Marie. In Ontario, um, the businesses, uh, uh, you know, and this is a partnership with the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, uh, almost $9 million was distributed to the Chamber of Commerce. Of that, in that portion that will be uh, uh, allocated uh, to the local Chamber of Commerce, and Rory will talk more about that in, in a little bit, so I'm not gonna steal too much of that thunder, but it's a super important program that is really going to help uh, us get the message out to the community, to the riding of Sault Ste. Marie, which is not only Sault Ste. Marie, but lot, lot, lots of the uh, parts of Algoma as well, to support our local businesses. These local businesses are the people that are creating the jobs. They're the ones that are supporting our local charities. Uh, they're supporting our, our local causes. And, you know, they are just absolutely amazing, you know, and I'm just so proud to be here today to once again be here at this tremendous local business that you know myself and my family has supported that many people in this community have supported for many years and Steve I just wanted to thank you so much for your footprint here in Sault Ste. Marie as an icon so thank you very much and I'm going to now just introduce Steve to come up and say a few words and uh, Steve again thank you so much for hosting and uh, I'm gonna have to probably uh, you know cruise around here and take a look at uh, getting some more um, various tackle and pieces for my uh, ensemble of fishing that uh, maybe now I have a little more time to do. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks Rory and Terry. Um, I'm Steve Meeting, part owner of Joe Sports with uh, my business partner Dave Edgar. And we were somewhat, probably one of the fortunate companies out of the pandemic that uh, reaped some benefits of this. 
a lot of people were forced to stay home, increased sales, our outdoors, uh, snowshoes, people hadn't bought snowsuits for years, we're in here, uh, a lot of local people right from all over Algoma and extending into throughout the country, a lot of our e-commerce and web sales increased because of it, um, a lot of local people come in, they appreciate the service they get here, uh, we try to uh, you know, do our best at satisfying their needs as well as uh, you know, future needs which has kind of given us the I would say the confidence in expanding into the paddle sport which uh, did very well for us this year and into the fishing which kind of streamlined some of the revenues throughout the year and we'd just like to announce that we will be transitioning with this into Great Lakes Outfitters and expanding into rentals in our new location up on the old Belarusian building at 162 Old Garden River Road. Uh, we'll be operating out of here as well, so we're going to kind of keep this as the staple. As Terry has mentioned, uh, you've been, been here for since 1956, so we're going to keep continuing that uh, tradition on. So, thank you. Rory? Thanks, Raj. Thanks. Okay, thanks very much. That's just a, a great story, and it just goes to show how uh, if we support local, local can expand. That means creating more jobs and creating more opportunity. But one of the great things about when you keep your money local, it creates a unique community, a community, unique storefront. As Steve mentioned, the traditional storefront for Joe's uh, Sports and Surplus is being refurbished to go to the new location. So you'll still see the antlers and, and the beaver and, yeah, and the caricatures out front. Yeah. So that's an icon that you <laughs> cannot lose in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, exactly. So it's great to see. And that's... You know, that's one of the great elements of, of keeping your money local. And some of the other things that it does is it really, uh, you know, keeping your money locally even means spending your money online, as many of these stores, as Steve referred to, have an online presence. So not only does it allow you to shop in a physical environment, but also it allows you to use those online capabilities like Joe Sports and Surplus will have, like Great Lakes Outfitters will have, but other. Um, <clears throat> other sites like Algoma Marketplace, those things are all local businesses that are helping generate local sales to keep money locally. And the great thing is you can come in and you can get that expertise. I'm sure uh, Terry, your spouse Lisa, just didn't come in and buy it off the shelf. I'm sure she came and spoke to an experienced sales associate and was able to make an intelligent purchase. So those are another great attributes that we're doing. But one of the top things about keeping your money locally is that it's the backbone of our community. These are the folks that are the first to come to the pump to sponsor hockey teams, sporting events, arts and culture, support art, support Rotary, United Way. You know, all those different things that our community needs to create a social fabric is all generated by the activity that our small business and our local companies make here in Sault Ste. Marie. So they're getting that money and they're reinvesting it back into your community and that creates such a great place like Sault Ste. Marie. So we're so happy to support this program. For us locally, that means that we are spending on the various media outlets $135,000 from today until January the 22nd. And then through the gracious sponsorship of those media outlets, they are gonna continue to fund this program from January 22nd to February the 14th. Why is February the 14th important? Because it's Valentine's Day, and our shop local brand is to love local. What you'll see out there is to shop local, dine local, listen local, play local, love local. It's gonna be a great campaign, you'll hear it. We're going to be very excited about some of the branding, the messaging that we'll see out in the community. We really hope that it'll resonate with people when it comes to looking at shopping through Black Friday and Black Friday events here locally or Cyber Monday. And that Cyber Monday can be going to the Great Lake Outfitters or Joe's Sports and Surplus to buy online products. So a great element that we have and then running into Christmas, obviously to promote the Christmas season and then Boxing Day and then through to Valentine's Day to conclude Love Local. We thank our sponsors, our media partners. This is going to be a very exciting event. We're very excited to be the Sault Ste. Marie Chamber of Commerce that's being allowed to make this happen here in Sault Ste. Marie. So thank you very much for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. Any questions at all? <laughs>